Hi everyone, it's Elle here to do a collective reading. Um, I wanna thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting on the video. Let me know if it resonates down for you, if it resonates for you in the comments section, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you God for blessing the collective with a clear, concise message. All right, so when I shuffled off camera, these were the three cards that I got. I said, what do you wanna tell the collective? Uh, spirit and they said um, secret love child and sometimes this card can also indicate a secret uh, love affair like a secret relationship um, and then somebody is closed off to love okay and then we also have um, not willing to fix the marriage okay um, so we have an energy of maybe somebody's willing the other person isn't okay so let's pull some cards on these and see what's really going on here. It seems as if we got some miscommunication, some mixed messages, um, some secret things, some hidden information. Uh, let's see. Let's clarify secret love child. What is secret love child for the collective? Lord God. What is, okay. High honor. All right, so someone is concerned about their reputation, uh, the court of public opinion. Um, therefore, they're keeping some child, um, some relationship secret also. Um, it's not fair, uh, but, they're, but they're doing this uh, because they could also be, um, they could be in the public eye. They could be married. They could already have a family. So there's a secret um, love child here. Uh, with someone who is has a, a really has a reputation you know in the public eye um, this would be a stain on their their character who they show to everybody else so um, the secret love child here with, with high honor um, let's see what closed off to love is. Who is closed off to love? What is this about for the collective? Okay, so it could be a mature woman. Um, this woman has been through a lot. Therefore, maybe her heart chakra is blocked. Um, she has a good heart. She's a good person. You know, she's a good Samaritan. At the very core of her, um, she makes people feel um, comfortable, um, at ease, balanced. There's a lot of harmony within her um, she can harmonize with a lot of different people also but she's closed off to love people don't really know her or what she's about she can also be a mystic or psychic or tarot card reader or she can read people very well um, again she makes people feel good um, what's up about childhood issues too where this person is closed off to love closed off to um, allowing themselves to bond with another person because they haven't dealt with issues from the past. This talks about maybe reconnecting backwards. So somebody's going to have to go backwards in order to go forward. And maybe that's why they're closed off to love. So let's talk about um, whomever this is not willing to fix the marriage or the relationship. Okay. All right. First card, the pathway. Okay. So um, you could have been dealing with this issue for one to two years. Um, you thought that things would change. There could be distance between the two of you. You could be separated, um, either legally or just separated. Um, or there's distance in terms of the relationship here, not willing to fix the marriage. Um, there's been some really high highs and some really low lows in this uh, connection here. Um, somebody feels like they just need to go, go it alone. Um, solo there's also suspicion of uh, what the other person is doing uh, maybe even suspicions of the other person's resources or finances or what they're involved in here um, yeah so it, it just seems like there's a lot of time that has elapsed between the two of you there could be um, either emotional or physical distance here therefore somebody's not willing to fix the marriage or the relationship here Let's see um, what else we can gather. Uh, also, at the bottom of the deck, um, we got lazy as F. You know, somebody just eats, they lounge, they sleep. You know, so somebody is lazy. Um, we will embark on that in a second. Let's see what the cards have to tell us 
Um, so what we got now is somebody needs to, to do some work in terms of opening their heart chakra therapy, uh, heart chakra rituals, um, chakra meditation, um, secret child here, somebody who could be in the limelight, who has a really good reputation amongst their peers and in their career, something of that nature where um, they have a secret child and they're going to keep that secret or a secret affair is going on. Somebody's not willing to fix the marriage or the connection because they just feel like too much time has uh, gone on. Uh, and you, <clears throat> you guys could have been working on this for one to two years um, with no real um, progression. So let's see what else the cards want to tell us here. Okay, this card one. Yeah, somebody got caught cheating, okay? Um, or or they, they will be caught cheating, maybe, especially for that person who has the secret love affair or love or marriage. Someone likes lying in your arms. They just love to be with you. They love the intimacy of the connection here. Um, let's see. What else do the cards want to tell us? Okay. Um, a whole lot of money and we and I've mentioned that it's like there's a lot of mystery now because a lot of time has gone on right um, and somebody's like passionate ab about finding out if the other person you know has a lot of money um, they just don't know their affairs now because they aren't together together um, at the bottom of the deck cannot maintain a relationship so someone cannot maintain a relationship here Someone can't do the maintenance of being in a relationship. Uh, they can get in one. They can find somebody. They could, you know, even quote unquote commit. Uh, but you have to then maintain anything that you have. You buy a car. It's Let's say you buy a new off the lot. Congratulations. You don't have to do much to it. But maybe at 3,000, 5,000, 6,000 miles, you're going to have to get um, an oil change. You have to maintain the car. You have to do something. Uh, for that car and it's the same thing with relationships romantic platonic familiar you're going to have to maintain relationships and somebody just can't maintain a relationship here um let's see what this caught cheating is caught cheating caught cheating caught cheating Woo! the cards flipped onto the floor um somebody could have been caught cheating they're getting uh, their karma or this was a karmic situation relationship where someone has to learn something, learn their lesson in terms of dealing with other people. Um, past life. OK, so it, it could have been that um, they went backwards. They cheated with someone that they knew um, that they had some type of connection with. Um, it was like a reconnection. I don't think it was supposed to be long term. Um, it was just more so get together and learn the lesson, maybe karma. But someone couldn't leave that. They, maybe they got caught cheating and maybe even had a secret child here. Twin flame here. Um, so you got a karmic and a twin flame. Maybe the past life person is um, karmic. Then you have a twin flame journey here. Maybe that's why there's so much friction, obstacle, delay within this connection because uh, with the twin flame journey, it's, it's two souls that uh, were reincarnated together. Now they have to find their way back together in this lifetime. Um, so it's gonna be very tough, okay, because of free will and um, outside influence. Let's see about this, I love lying in your arms. So someone, someone likes just the intimate connection that you two have. It could be with a mature woman, but her heart chakra could be closed or she just closed down to love. Um, she's got burned one too many times here. Um, she's just not interested in going through that or jumping into that or something about jumping through hoops on an open relationship. Yeah. Um, so someone could be uh, wanting an open relationship courting man. Okay. So um, whomever you're dating, it could be an open relationship. This person is courting you, dating you exclusively to be in a relationship with you. I don't know if they, they are, they want you to be exclusive, but they aren't exclusive. It is open. Um, this person may have other people that they are dating too. This is a businessman around the town, uh, has a good reputation. Again, coming up uh, about this businessman who has a good reputation, knows a lot of people. 
um, may dress in suits or dresses up. Um, yeah, this person could have um, a man could be married or in a long term relationship. This person could be married, but they're in their marriage. They uh, have another relationship, an open relationship here, too. Give me one more card for open relationship, courting man, and I love lying in your arms, dating queen. Okay, so this person has a lot of options um, and or the person that they are vying for has a lot of options, okay? Um, somebody has really stepped into their own, stepped into their power, into knowing, you know, the fact that um, they are a magnet for people. They're charismatic. They're outgoing. They're well-spoken. They dress well. They look nice. They do beauty rituals. They get their hair, their nails done. Um, they dress up in suits if you're a man and they make sure their hair is cut and they wear the right fragrances. It's, it's just um, more so this is somebody who is just open to opportunity here. And it could be the courting man and also could be the woman here. Um, this mature woman, her heart chakra could be closed because her husband is still out here maintaining other relationships or at least getting into them because we got somebody who can't maintain a relationship over here um let's see what this um is about in terms of not willing to work on the marriage um and pathway maybe this person is trying to take a new pathway and then we have a whole lot of money so somebody's got a lot of money um, and they could be hiding this um maybe from the other party that they're still attached to uh technically legally um, binding contract called marriage um brunette woman um yeah so somebody feels like there's something being hidden from them another woman um or it just lies the brunette woman a female to me she um represents either another woman or just lies and deception altogether so somebody feels like Somebody is being deceptive in nature in terms of who they're with, who they're um, mixing it up with, and, and who they're giving their money to or how they're earning money or if they're holding back money, especially if you guys are not divorced yet. Um, someone doesn't want you to find out ab about this money, this money-making opportunity or the money that they have amassed now that they are not with you. Um, dating, yeah, someone doesn't want you to find out that they're dating someone else spiritual growth um, they could feel like okay um the relationship between the two of you especially with pathway and spiritual growth it the space between the two of you allow them to grow spiritually either you come into the reading feel that way or the other person does or it happened mutually you took space apart or you took time apart and now both of you have grown spiritually maybe even dating other people you have a whole nother life that this person doesn't know about um you know hence that brunette female um, there was something to learn here. Um, somebody learned the lesson and now they're, they're growing or someone needs to learn the lesson so that they can grow. Um, let me get, let's clarify this. Cannot maintain a spirit, cannot maintain a relationship. I was going to say spiritual because I got spiritual awareness, get some. So somebody needs to get some spiritual awareness or, uh, or they're going to repeat the lesson here. Um, cannot maintain a relationship. What is cannot maintain a relationship about? Um, the nine of swords. Um, somebody spazzes out. Somebody um, plays the victim. Um, someone could be dealing with um, maybe uh, mental issues, undiagnosed or diagnosed. Um, someone just feels powerless in terms of um, themselves and how they think they think negatively therefore they act on what they think and sometimes it's not even that somebody overreacts someone can't deal with uh their the emotional and the mental they need to get in a space of um clarity spiritual awareness somebody overthinks therefore they can't maintain the relationship um somebody ghosted the other person or they get ghosted um, or yeah, they go see the other person. They can't maintain the relationship because it gets a little too heavy for them. Um, somebody feels like if somebody gets close, they're going to really see their mental issues or the, the, the fact that they are not spiritually aware that they um, have some issues that they need to deal with with an expert. You have the two of pentacles. Somebody's going to see somebody don't want somebody to get close enough to see the mask fall off see, because the two of pentacles talks about the juggler. Okay. Um, 
you know, in medieval times, they would have the people come around, the juggler or the jester come around and juggle the balls and, you know, just bring light to a situation or um, try to keep every keep spirits up, even though maybe spirits were low. Um, it's like somebody doesn't want you to see that maybe they don't have enough or they can't maintain something because um, they like uh being in more than one situation at the same time this is also someone who could like having two different relationships they put one down pick the other one up someone doesn't want you they can't maintain a relationship because they don't make they probably don't even like one-on-one -on -one connections um, um, honestly with that two of pentacles there um also they like the juggling act they like to um they know that people are watching therefore they're going to keep up the act says the juggler okay spiritual awareness get some somebody needs some spiritual awareness here um wow the eight of pentacles and the ace of swords while you're out here steadily looking for somebody new to date you need to get more spiritually astute you need to be more calculated within yourself about yourself about your mentality about how you're focusing on things that should be minute to you right now you need to focus on you you need to focus on um, getting clear, seeing the truth of the matter, uh, cutting something out. Uh, I don't know, a person, place or thing, uh, maybe even um, a way of thinking or a lifestyle here. You need to be more calculated. Somebody's trying to meet somebody else, but they're going to meet someone else and uh, they're going to engage with this person in the same way that they engage with everyone else. And you see those calculations aren't there. Spirit is asking you to be a little bit more calculated in terms of how you you approach relationships if you want marriage because eight of pentacles talks about marriage and travel later in life if that's what you want if that's what um you're after then you don't need to deal with anybody or you need to be ready to cut out anybody who is not a candidate for that anyone who's not vetting you to be their wife or their husband if they're not uh, spiritually aware if they don't understand that there's a spiritual component to life to every aspect of life is it your duty to you know to educate them to get them up to speed on what you believe possibly not you know um you need to work on yourself with the eight of pentacles and the ace of swords here you need to work on you you need to work on um trying giving the situations uh chances over and over again or doing the same thing over and over again thinking of somebody over and over again you need to be prudent with your energy with your reserves um you give too much i don't know spiritual awareness you need to understand that there's a spiritual component to everything if you feel like you're meeting only toxic people then we are who what we attract the law of attraction so you're meeting toxic people so therefore there's something in you that is still toxic you need to deal with that spiritual awareness um, this is what I have for you collective. I hope that it resonated for you. I want to leave you with some advice via the moonology cards. Let's see. <clears throat> moonology cards. Let's see. What is the moonology cards? Okay, expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Something's going to leave your life or something needs to leave. Your commitment is being tested. Um, you're right on the brink of maybe um, establishing yourself or having ex something exciting, new, better for you come into your life. But you, the universe is testing your commitment to being a new person or bettering yourself. Um also, this could be someone else. This could be someone from the past resurfacing with the same type of BS energy. You know, your commitment to yourself and betterment is being tested at this point. Um, you said you want better, but just because this person shows back up, are you going to give them another chance, says the Eight of Pentacles. So your commitment to you, to a better you, is being tested. Expect powerful change. Something is coming in to you. Um, that is um, powerful. It's going to propel you into, you know, a new you, a new way of living, um, into awareness of yourself and others also. Very nice. Um, emotions are running high for you right now. 
I, this car just wants to come out. Um, somebody contracted an STD, okay? Be, be cautious of dealing with people um, that just, you know, want to jump in the bed too quickly. Definitely un uh, unprotected sex. Protect yourself, okay? All right. This is what I have for you guys. I hope that it resonated. I hope that it gave you some awareness. Drop down in the comment section and let me know what part resonated for you or if all of it resonated for you. Let me know um, what you took from this, okay? Uh, how you can uh, take some energy and how you're going to make it fit into your life or you're going to use it in your own life, okay? Because this, was, this is what the channel is about, Betterment. It's really not to come here and get the tea. I mean, you know, it's it's fun. Uh, to come to tarot card readings and uh, get the tea but you already know the tea that's going on with your life okay um, what about actually fixing it okay so anyway thank you guys many blessings to you all links are below if you want to book your own personal reading go over to the website you can ask a question or two should I take this person back can I trust them is this the right person for me is this the one will he propose whatever you can text it to the number below uh, you can also donate to the channel if you feel like this reading blessed you in any way. You can donate by buying me a coffee. Yep, you could buy me a coffee by clicking the link below. Thank you guys. Take care.